Hello, I'm Karina. And I'm Maddie. And welcome to Everything But the Fairy Tale Sync. This podcast is going to be a weekly podcast where we go over myths, legends, folklore, and urban legends. And so basically what it is, is one of us will have done the research for the week and the other one gets to sit and listen to a fun little story. So you'll be getting our organic reactions to things and you get to see some of our mess ups, some of our, you know, if something's really weird, we're going to laugh at it. And you get to hear a fun story every week. So, (laughs) ta-da! All right, how have you been, Maddie? I've been pretty good. I just wrapped up my first day of classes for winter quarter. And I get to frost cupcakes when we're done recording this, so I'm pretty happy. Nice. What about yourself? I have eaten a Pop-Tart, and I've been awake for like four hours now. And I haven't had to worry about much. So I'd say the day's gone pretty okay. So we have decided before going into our episodes every day that we were going to do recommendations of the day. So what is your recommendation of the day today? My recommendation for the day is the channel Swell Entertainment on YouTube. Amanda is super funny and her latest video was of her trying on bras over a Spider-Man costume. Oh yeah, highly recommend. She's so fun. All right, what about you? My recommendation is the Netflix original Tiny Pretty Things. It is a ballerina show, but it has a little bit of a thriller twist to it. Nice. I am 20 minutes into the first episode still, (laughs) but I will get farther because it is really good. All right. So I am a psychology major. Maddie is a psychology major with flair. (laughs) And Yeah, go ahead. That (laughs) flair is that I'm a psychology major, but I also plan on double majoring in law and justice as well as getting my certificate in forensics. Nice. And what are you going to do with all that? I plan on being a forensic psychologist or some sort of person in the law and justice field, preferably including psychology. Cool. I know with my psychology degree, I am going to be going into specifically developmental psychology And then I will be going into child therapy, social services, sort of that sort of fun thing. All right. So do you want to explain the amazing origins of our podcast? Sure. So we were on a video chat with a friend late one night and we were going through some old documents and we found one that was from late middle school, early high school where we talked about myths. So we talked about Greek, Roman, you know, the basic myths that most people know about. And we decided that it would be a really fun idea to turn it into a podcast, but expand on the idea instead of doing just myths. Mm -hmm. So that means that, as Karina mentioned earlier, we are doing legends, urban legends, and folklore, and still sticking with the myths. Yep. Yeah, this was late at night, so we weren't sure it was going to pan out, but it did, and we are thrilled to be here. All right, so we both have done a ton of research, and we've had some personal favorites come up. So, Maddie, do you want to share yours? My current personal favorite is the Bhavan Shi from Scotland, and she is basically a vampire fairy combination, which sounds kind of cliche, but she's actually very, very interesting. What about you? All right, so my all-time favorite is the 13 Icelandic Santa Clauses, which we will be covering around Christmas time. However, my current favorite that's coming up are vampire pumpkins. I'm not elaborating. They're just great. I'm confused. (laughs) All right. And of course, we do stuff outside of researching as well. So what are some some of your favorite things to do, Maddie? Um, Some of my favorite things to do are watching Netflix and YouTube, as well as baking. And I also enjoy listening to music and doing puzzles. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing so much grandma stuff recently. Like, I have been crocheting, I have been reading, writing, um, and then I love doing makeup, and I also spend a lot of time on YouTube and Netflix as well. All right, and on a more serious note, there are a few things that we won't cover, and Maddie, do you want to go into what you won't cover first? Sure. After you drink your tea. (laughs) Yes. So because I am mostly covering legends and urban legends, as well as folklore and myths, but I will not be covering anything that has turned to real life behavior, such as when 
Well, I have an exception of Cropsy, but I won't be focusing so much on the crime as I will be on the origins of the legend and what that is about. I also won't be covering things like creepy pastas because those, while they are very popular, there are other podcasts for that, as well as the fact that they sometimes get acted upon, such as Slenderman. I also won't be covering things that are super, super popular, such as Area 51, unless it is heavily requested. Mm -hmm. All right, so I also will be trying to avoid anything that has really modern implications. So like the Slender Man or that one creepy mask dude on YouTube. I can't remember his name and I don't think you can say it anyways. Um, I also won't be covering anything that can be directly linked to a fairy tale. So one of the reasons our podcast is called Everything But the Fairy Tale Sync is because we don't want to cover anything that does have a definitive like base for it um so well i don't because you're going to be doing more urban legends which mm -hmm. can be right back to the internet mm -hmm. but for me i'm not going to be covering like hansel and gretel or little red riding hood um i'll be covering more the creatures that are sometimes used within those stories and we also we will be covering some more gory, kind of mature topics. However, we will be including a trigger warning in those episodes. And if you don't want to watch that episode, you can't handle it, we take no offense. You are totally welcome to skip that episode, and we will see you the next week. Yep, and we've decided that at the end of every episode to kind of lighten up some yeah. of the more heavier topics, that we are going to each give a nice little wish to the audience. So Karina, what is your wish? Ooh, my wish is that when you go to your your closet this week, I forgot the word closet for a second, when you go to your closet this week and you're going to look for that one specific shirt or that one specific dress that you want to wear for your job interview or for your first day of school, that you find it in less than a second and then you turn around and the matching pieces for it are right there. What's your wish, Maddie? My wish is that when you go to make your bed and you go to put on the annoying figured sheet, that when you go to put it on, it does not bounce back at you and it goes on perfectly. Woo! All right. Do you want to tell the audience what's coming up for our first official episode? Sure. So tune in next week on Friday for the first official episode of Everything But the Fairy Tale Sync, where I will be covering the Philadelphia urban legend of the bus to nowhere. I know nothing about it. All right. Thank you so much for coming and watching our introduction episode. I keep forgetting words, I'm so sorry. But yeah, we are so lucky to have you and we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. And if you make it this far to the end of the video, we love you. Thank you so oh. much. Bye-bye.